you live in the Puget Sound region, you've likely seen seaplanes taking off and landing all around our beautiful city. But I was wondering, what would it be like to actually learn to fly one? Well, today we're going to do just that. Kenmore Air invited us to come check it out. David, thank you so much for inviting us up here. Tell me about everything that Kenmore Air does. Absolutely. So glad you could join us today. So we've got a lot going on up here at Kenmore Air. Most people know us just for our float plane flights, but we are in our primary hangar here, and we do not only our own maintenance for the planes, but we do the restoration and uh, rebuilding programs for the otters and the beavers. Great. And we're world renowned for that. Talk to me about all the places that your seaplanes fly. Yeah, from here, we have two major bases, and that's here in Kenmore, where we are right now, and then also on Lake Union. And from both of those locations, you can fly to Victoria, you can go to the San Juan Islands, and we also serve the Channel Islands and Desolation Sound uh, from here. So, and also on a charter basis, you can take one of these planes anywhere you like to go. This is Ava, my pilot today. How much power will I actually have up in the air? I noticed. <laughs> You'll have a decent amount of control, um, but I'm not going to let you do anything dangerous. How high are we going to go? How fast are we going to go? So we usually stay at about 500 to 1500 feet, closer to, you know, terrain and obstacles, but we stay over the water anytime we're below 500 for sure. Okay, so. and what are sort of the rules of flying a seaplane? Yeah, so, um, well, we do have a few other things that, you know, your standard plane doesn't have to avoid, like boats, jet skis, any sort of water traffic, um, buoys, all those sort of things, and also boat wakes and big waves as well. So. What are we going to be flying? Uh, we're going to be in a Piper Super Cub. A Super Cub? Yep. Okay, the names of planes <laughs> are the cutest things ever. Give me some of the names of the seaplanes. Behind us, we've got a Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Um, Skyhawk. There's De Havilland Beaver, um, <laughs> Beaver and a De Havilland Otter as well. <laughs> I love that they're all animals. It's so cute. Where are we going to be going? So we'll be staying mostly on Lake Washington. We'll go over Lake Union and a little bit over Puget Sound, but kind of over the general downtown Seattle area. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> and we're going to take off and land a couple of times, right? Yes, we'll be doing some splash and goes for sure. Okay, splash and go. That sounds cute. <laughs> that sounds easy. Well, I'm so excited to do it with you. It's going to be really fun. You want to teach me some things and then we'll get up in the sky? Sure. Let's, sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs> a few just, I guess, general pieces of information. So the stick, which is what you've got kind of between your legs there, controls our pitch up and down and then our control left and right, so our bank. Okay. And so I'm doing all the stuff up here. Do you, I, I'm hoping it's like you're giving me like a video game controller that isn't plugged in and you're actually still doing well back there. Is it like that? A little bit. I'll be helping out as much as needed, but you'll okay. be doing as, as much as you can safely do. All right, now you can start cranking the starter there. This right here? Yep. Okay. So we're going to go full power <laughs> and then just hold the stick right where it's at. Okay. There you go. Whoa! We are <laughs> taking off! <laughs> Whoa, this feels amazing, right? And um, you have the control. We'll just keep climbing. So pull the nose up just a little bit so you're going to pull back on the stick just a tiny bit right Woo! <laughs> So we're going to climb to 1100 and they're going to kind of head towards downtown. Oh, it's so beautiful looking at all the mountains. Right? <laughs> it's so cool to see it from a whole other vantage point. If you want to learn how to land, I can show you. <laughs> yeah? Okay, cool. We're going to descend a bit. Water rudders are up, which is what we want. Essentially, we're going to kind of keep this descent attitude for a minute. Um, if you want to get the second notch of flaps in, we're going to start pulling up. So that right there, that is our step attitude. Okay. So that's the attitude we're going to touch down in the water at. All right. There's the water. Oh, we're on the water again. We are. It's so gentle compared to a normal airplane. Right? <laughs> it has its path, too. It does. All right, and so I'll let you do most of the takeoff. Um, okay. So pull the stick all the way back, and then apply full power nice and slowly. Oh, slowly. Sorry. That's all right. That you, you got it. That was fine. <laughs> there you go. And all the way up. And now you're just going to hold this attitude. So don't move the stick at all. Okay. It goes up a bit. There you go. Nice. Wow. I did it. We did it! She nailed it. it. <laughs>
I still cannot believe that I got to do that. It was the coolest day ever. I just want to keep reliving it. And my grandpa was actually a small plane pilot. So I always thought that was one of the really cool things about him. And I feel like I got to kind of honor him in that way and kind of see a really cool thing that he enjoyed doing too. It was and awesome.